Welcome to the Bag Hag Digest. Hello beautiful bag lovers, Trina here with another video today about my favorites for summertime. And I know this tag video has been going around a while and I also know that for most people, summer is actually in August, starting early August. But for me, I'm still at work until mid-August, so the summer really kind of starts for me uh, now, really. So um, I wanted to share with you some of the stuff I've been enjoying in the really hot months of uh, summer here in, in southern Miyazaki. Um, okay, so let's just dive right into it. First thing, lemon and water and ice. Can't live without that stuff. Kanpai. Second thing, I'm a perfume um, fanatic or a, a frag hag, if you will. And I have a lot of perfume, but in the heat, you really need the light stuff. And this is one of my favorites for the summertime for cutting the heat intensity. You really need something citrusy, not heavy or floral. And this is called Cologne Imperiale from Guerlain. I think it's Guerlain's first eau de toilette, toilet, or not eau de toilette, sorry, eau de cologne. Um, sometimes the namings of these things can be confusing and they're not always consistent. But in any case, I do know that this was created in 1853. Um, for Napoleon's wife, uh, Empress Eugène, 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. And it was this perfume, I think, that gave Guillain the title of um, perfumer to the throne or something like that. This is a lovely bottle. The shape is apparently mimicking uh, Place Vendôme in Paris, not in Montreal where I'm from, but it's beautiful. It's got these nice gold, well, fake golded, little bees on it and uh, I love this bottle and I picked it up secondhand full and I've already gone through quite a chunk of it just this summer. Oh, it's just breathtaking. It's bergamot, neroli, orange peel. It's really, really refreshing. And I think this kind of smell is also really good if you, if you feel ill, not so, it's very uplifting, um, kind of, the kind of thing you'd want to put in your, in your bath too. Um, beautiful perfume. I do think it's overpriced and I do think that you can get similar versions of the same type of thing. Um, Dolce and Gabbana have the light blue which is a very citrusy type of thing with lots of lemon in it. Um, this has lemon too but I get more bergamot, very similar. But the Dolce and Gabbana one is also a little pricey. If you want to go cheap and really good there's the L'Octaine de Provence. They sell a really nice uh, Verbana perfume which is really good for cutting that humid heat and they have a limited well they say it's limited edition who knows they also have an le intense lemon edition too that you can get for around 60 bucks as opposed to what I think this retails for which is probably 200 300 dollars which is nuts and it doesn't even have a spray so I decant oh it's just beautiful so I decant this and I put it into a spray for my um, purse in the summertime lovely stuff so that is my first or second, if you count the lemon juice. My third um, love for the summer is this uh, beautiful Christian Dior. Um, it's called a New Look Pouch. It's not available on the market anymore, and I did get this second hand. It's kind of a beigey, purpley uh, patent leather number. Uh, second hand in eh, not great condition. It's a bit sticky, and there is some. Um, tearing starting to begin on one of the straps here. I'll review this for you later because um, I'm really enjoying this really a lot, uh, more than I thought I would actually. So uh, later, my friends, later. Uh, the third bag-esque thing that I'm enjoying this summer is, uh, no surprise, it's just my Speedy. I've been taking this to work every day. My um, crossover crossbody pouch fits nicely into here, all my other essentials. So I've been using this a lot. Um, I think it's a wonderful thing about the Speedy. You can use it all seasons and it looks fine. It feels great. Wonderful little piece of bagage. And the third thing, or am I on a four now maybe? Anyway. When I was in Tokyo last week, and I vlogged on that in my last video, I picked up some Bare Minerals lip gloss, because um, you can't get it down here. Love this stuff. Uh, I think I have it on now, but it's more on. This, this particular brand, and also Buxom, have like a very minty feeling to their lip glosses, and I just love that. And I really like this color, it's like a, a deep, I like uh, rosy tones 
and I, I think this is probably my fourth stick of this stuff, uh, but I haven't owned this for this particular one in a very long time. Mm, very happy to have this back in my makeup ar um, arsenal. And uh, next uh, that I'm really enjoying this summer is a new book. Uh, really enjoying this. He's got a two-part series. I've, I've only just started it, but basically it's 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 not pop, it's popular nonfiction, I guess. I love it when these brains are able to write at an eighth grade level to really make it easier for us regular folk to access all of the stuff that they researched and package it into a very uh, intriguing read. So very much a fan so far of this. Uh, next, I've been trying to incorporate some movement into my day-to-day, -day, which is really hard for me, but now that a work has uh, ended and I have more time, I've been taking walks and I have this cute little pedometer that mom sent over from Canada for me, and it's great! Uh, it's from a company called Centris. I can't read because I'm so nearsighted and I have contacts on today. It's a great little device. You stick it on your shoe and it opens up. Where does it open up? It opens up like this and you can do a whole bunch of settings and it tells you basically how many steps you're taking, you've taken on your walk and then you can translate that into um, uh, calories. Well, this one, I don't haven't figured out how to find out calories burned, but it certainly tells you your step distance and my friends are all saying that I should be taking 10,000 steps a day. I think that's quite a bit of walking and um, yeah, I should, because I'm not ready to start running again anytime soon. My weight, my weight is too high, and I still have um, damage from my lateral meniscus. I used to be quite athletic a few years back, but then I had that big injury with my knee that put me out. So walking, everyone can do that, most people anyway, uh, and it's great. The only problem is it's so bloody hot now. It's so humid. I come in drenched in sweat, and my heart rate hasn't even gone up. So annoying, but. That's what you get for living in uh, the south of Japan. It's hot. Okay, so those are my favorites. Hope you enjoyed uh, what I had to share with you. Have a lovely day, afternoon, evening, whatever. Uh, Bag Hag signing out. Bye, Nada.